Hi, I'm Rodney Sharp, President of Sharp Grade International. Today, I'd like to show you our new Sharp Grade Heavy Duty B87. So there's a 87 inch, 2.2 metre. So this is our Mark II. So this has been our most popular model we've ever sold in box blades. And we've done a few revisions on it to make it even better. So first of all, it still retains our twin parabolic outboard mounted mirrors. So give you full vision of the blade and of the side wing and in front of the side wing. So that's really important to have them outboard mounted. So we started that trend and we continue it. We also have our underslung walking beam. So our, our walking beam is pivoted from the bottom and it pivots just like a normal walking beam as you can see but the bottom means when you turn it stays smooth and it doesn't tuck under like a, a vertical mounted or a upper mounted walking beam. It has a retracting front assembly so we can retract the wheels and bring them back behind the blade and they just have two locks on them that you release and they're nice and simple so we've upgraded the locking system and then you pick up the assembly and put it to the rear and lock it. And that now it's completely clear here, you can use it as a dozer, you can get up close to walls and things like that and it's nice and short for transport. When you want to put them down, you release the lock Then you just fold them down and they're all gas assist so there's no stress involved. It takes the weight for you. You push them down and you lock them. Nice and simple. So all of our sharp grade B series have retracting front wheels. We have also upgraded the wheel bearings in our wheels. So we are now running 1100 pound bearings, 500 kilos, continuous rated. So these are now the strongest wheels of this size and class. So these have 34 millimeter bearings, not like some others that run a, a half inch rod in them. These are 34 mil, which is inch and three eight. So nice and strong. And they've got a double sealed annular contact bearing that have their own seal in them. And then we put a seal on each side of that and, and put a labyrinth on it so that the grit can't get in. So they're basically sealed for life. You never have to grease them, adjust them. The wheel unbolts so you can remove the wheel off the hub. So if you ever want to replace something, you don't have to replace the whole thing. You can replace the tire and rim or, or the hub, but I very much doubt whether you'll ever be doing the hub. They have hardy lube bushes in the wheel pivot and they are grease free, so you never have to grease them. They also have seals in them, so they're sealed completely, so the grit can't get in. And it's very important to keep the grit out because that's, that's what makes a bearing fail is uh, contamination. So very seldom does a bearing fail through load if it's designed correctly, it fails through contamination. So by sealing all of our bearings, we keep the grit out. We also have our valve stem protector that we have on all of our sharp grades. So we put a, a protector around the valve stem because most punctures happen when you're pushing through a pile of material and you get aggregate caught between the wheel and the, and the housing. So we protect them so they don't get ripped off. And that way you can run pneumatic tyres which allows you to grade faster because when you solid fill them, they become very rigid and at speed they start bouncing. And we, because we can grade at speed, we don't want any bounce. So that's why we run pneumatic tyres and run valve stem protectors. We also have our optional scarifiers which you can unpin and remove in under five minutes. 
uh, these Scarifies Scarify Ford, and then trail in reverse. We tugston armour the tips, so they sit down two inches, 50 mils below the, the blade, so they scarify the top surface. And once you get through the top surface, you can, you can grade, and you can scarify on grade, and you can blade on grade. So, um, and when you're finished with them, you can pin them up, like we have in the centre one here, you can pin them up and run them like that, which allows the material to roll underneath them, or you can just remove these pins and take them off. So to pin them up, it's very simple. You, you pull out the lock, you fold them up, put the pin in, and you're good to go. So nice and simple, and then you can pull the pin out and take that whole kit off as one, and they're light enough to lift off with one person. And you can put them back on and just slide them down to the centre and put the centre ones in. So nice and easy. So that's a good seller for us. A lot of people working where you have clay that, that is baked hard in the sun and the top gets really hard, uh, they, these solve that problem. Or you want to scarify a driveway or something like that and mix the fines back in, a nice simple solution for that. And you can put them on and take them off. So we have our laminated poles, like we have on all our existing ones, and we have a bolt-on system where you can slide them in and just do the bolts up. And you can see they're held on three corners, not just on one or two, they're held on three corners, so they become very rigid, and it increases the rigidity of the pole. So that's another thing we have done. We have our, our quad-grade 2D lasers, these have adjustable grade height, plus or minus five inches, plus or minus 120 mil, and that comes standard with quad grade. And we have our graduated laser receiver poles. So you can set your blade on your datum, adjust your laser receiver until it's striking the laser in the correct position, lock it, note the dimension underneath the receiver, set the other one to the, to the correct, the same height, and then start grading. There's no tape measure needed. And it's all because of our graduated laser poles. And we do that on every sharp grade and we've been doing that for nine years. So that's what comes standard, our quad grade 2D system, which can run 2D laser. It can also run a sonic or it can run a slope sensor. And we can also have our grade assist, which is a slope sensor and you can set one side to be controlled by the slope sensor and the opposite side controlled manually. So you can maintain a, a crossfall and you just set the elevation and it, it maintains the crossfall for you. So a really good tool if you're dressing up a driveway or something like that and you just want to maintain the crossfall and but you look after elevation. And that can be swapped from side to side, you can swap the, invert the cross fall, you can do all of that. You can uh, in, in, um, adjust the cross fall as you go. You can set what increments you, you adjust it to, so you can have it very fine or very coarse, uh, make it very easy for the operator. We have our standard wear plates on the side, all of our knife edges. These are 450 grade and they're reversible. So all the inside ones and the outside ones, you can reverse them. So when they're worn, you can just tip them upside down and get another life out of them. Or you can swap them from side to side if you like. If, if you're biased on one side, you can swap them from side to side because they're completely interchangeable. We have changed the way we mount our cylinders. And like on most sharp grade B-series now, we put our cylinders on an angle. Now this is, the reason is to narrow the structure close to the machine so that you can get unimpeded view down through it. So to do that, we, we have to put our cylinders on an angle because with a quad grade system, the blade pivots off the base of the cylinder. So the further out you can have your cylinder pivot, the less cross coupling you get. And cross coupling is when one side affects the other side when you move it. 
and so these are true zero cross coupling. So the sharp grades are the only box blades on the market with true zero cross coupling. And so that's, a, that's something we really focus on because that allows you to grade with precision and operate it manually much easier because you're only ever altering once the height of one side when you do it manually. All of our cylinders have sealed for life bearings, so they're grease filled, sealed with special silicon seals of our own design, and then shields on them so they grit can't get in. So we run that on all of our cylinders, and so you never have to grease anything on this. We run our same quad rod linkages as our Mark I, but what we have done is we've turned the top linkages back to front. So originally we had them close at the centre on the structure and wide apart on the frame, but what we've done is we've really beefed up the frame and we've turned them so they mount on the outside and, and point inwards. And what that allows us to do is it cut a hole in the rear of the frame so we can see into the rear blade. So that's another little thing that we've done. Once again, they are grease filled, sealed for life, and then shielded. So they are 80 kilonewton, which is 17,000 pound rated. So they're robust, so the most robust in the industry. And we have got units out there that are uh, six years old, that have graded 14 million feet, never been greased, and still as rigid as the day they went out there. And that's because we seal them and keep the grit out. It's really important for a bearing to be clean. So we've really increased the strength of the blade frame itself. So it is all made from half inch steel, the whole thing. And so it's really strong now. So we still have our curved moldboard on the front, but it's all one pressing and, and each one pressing on the side. So that's you know, these are really strong. So that means we don't have to have our structure on the side anymore to stiffen it up. So um, it, it makes it nicer, means you can grade closer to an edge and uh, just gives you more rigidity all round. So these are extremely rigid. The scarifier mounts are built into the structure itself. So you can buy it at any time and then just put scarifiers on when you want. Our valve is fully electronic load sensed. So you can turn this valve from a open center, like on most base machines, up to say 75 horse that runs a gear pump. You can run it as open center, or you can run it closed center just by, there's a little wire in here that we connect up and it'll change it from open center to closed center. So it's fully electronic load sense, so it will only set the pressure required. And what that does is that allows to run a large valve in here. So this, this valve is 50 gallon per minute rated, 200 liters. So it's the largest in the industry. So we have very little heat build up. So when it's running at idle, there is around 40 PSI of back pressure. So about three bar, so it's very low. There's a check valve in there, so if you connect it backwards, it just will not work, so you know which way it's going. We have an internal release, so that uh, if you disconnect the hoses under pressure, it will release the, the pressure for you. So we've thought about all of those little things that make operator's day frustrating, and we've solved them for you. So it runs high performance precision proportional valves, just like we do on all of our sharp grades. So there's no, cheap valves here, they're all good quality Eaton products. We sit them below the surface so that uh, they can't, if you stand on the frame, they sit below. The hoses come over the top of them to protect them. So we've tried to think of all the things that get damaged in the field and solve those problems. So that's what this is about, it's an evolution, it's our Mark II and we've been making this one for nine years. So we've distilled all of the issues we've had over nine years, and we've put them into this model. So a lot of things remain the same. The walking beam remains the same. 
the bump stops remain the same. We've changed the front on it. We used to have it in a triangle, but we've changed it to a mono beam. And what that allows you to do is you can see better down into this area when you're grading, especially if you're grading on a pad that's got service pipes, you can see a lot better about where those service pipes are. The mirrors are protected by the walking beam, so we don't have to run a, a, a protector on them because the walking beam does it for us on this model. You can also, this is set up, the bolts are all ready if you want to run a turf grader, which is a power rake that, that you can bolt on and it unclips. And so you can power rake and grade. So we sell a lot of those for the equestrian market, where especially when they're working with uh, fiber and wax, it's a very difficult material. And the sharp grade is one of the few machines that will handle that type of product. And you can power rake or grade and you can do all of it on grade all at, the, all at the one time. And you can set your power rake up above grade or below grade. So a really nice feature. We have a pivoting rear blade because you have to have a pivoting rear blade. If you do not have that, you will end up with a leveling bar because all the material packs in there and then you'll never be able to trim. So these will trim. They're rigid enough to be able to trim with. And to do that, you need a pivoting rear blade. So we've got a pivoting rear blade and there's nothing horizontal underneath it. It's something we've developed over time so that we don't have the blades packing like other designs. So in the nine years, we have learned a lot about how to make box blades in particular and what makes them work and what, what doesn't. We run three quarter inch hoses. So as machines get more and more flow, in standard configuration, we can handle it. So this, this valve can handle 50, 50 gallons a minute, 200 litres a minute, and there's no skid steer on the market with standard flow that comes anywhere near that. So we have very low heat, and we've got the ability to change from open to closed centre in a matter of seconds. So our adjustable hitch plate, as standard, that hasn't altered. It still bolts on, it's exactly the same hitch plate that we've been running for the last nine years that we slide up and down. And that sets your blade perfectly level, so that means you can grade forward and reverse at the same height. It's a very innocuous thing, but it is absolutely critical for when you're grading in reverse. So we can also run Quad Grade Pro on this, which is all the power is taken from the 14 pin plug and it's an app based. Or we can run Power Pro, which is an onboard battery pack that's completely standalone. There's no wiring onto the base machine at all, which is really good for the rental market. So we have all of the options available on this machine that you would ever want, whether in the rental or your production grading. Um, this is a really good tool for all of those applications. It's very rugged and robust. It's the most rugged box blade available on the market, full stop. So I hope you found that interesting. And uh, if you need any more information, feel free to visit our website, www.sharpgrade.com. There you'll find a list of our dealers, uh, but feel free to uh, reach out to us. And thank you for your time.